the third annual Thousand Island Wine and Food Festival, June 22nd and 23rd at the Brockville Memorial Center. This year, the festival celebrates the life and times of Sir Isaac Rock in recognition of the bicentennial of the War of 1812. Local food producers, restaurants, Ontario and international wineries, breweries, and spirits will be on hand. There will also be wine, beer, and cooking demonstrations, as well as local artisans on display and live entertainment. The festival runs from 5 to 10 p.m. on Friday, from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturday. Admission is just $10. For more information, log on to Thousand Islands Wine and Food Festival.com, sponsored in part by BNTV. They came out on Friday night to celebrate cancer survivors, to remember loved ones lost to cancer, and to fight back in the hopes of finding a cure for this terrible disease. The seventh annual brothel Relay for Life in support of the Canadian Cancer Society raised over $147,000 Friday night at the Elizabethtown Fairgrounds at Rouse Corners. This year saw 470 people in 47 teams take their turn walking the 12 hours overnight around the track at the Elizabethtown Fairgrounds. This year's goal was $150,000, and this year's Relay Chair, Heather Jones, said that their final number should be over that goal as pledges and sponsorship money is still coming in. This year, there were 81 cancer survivors who participated in the Survivor's Walk prior to the Relay beginning. At 10 p.m. was the Luminary Ceremony, which are candles that are placed in special bags that bear the names of cancer survivors and loved ones who have lost their battle with cancer. The bags are placed around the outside of the track and lit during the ceremony. The luminaries provide light and inspiration to participants all night long. This year saw 1,139 luminaries light the way for participants overnight Friday night. This year's top fundraising team was Greenfield's Fueling the Cure, which raised $7,917, while the top individual fundraiser was Claire Morris from the CSI Morris Clan team, who raised $3,325. The annual event would not be possible without the hard work and dedication of the close to 50 volunteers who put on this year's Relay for Life. The money raised from Friday's event goes towards cancer research and support services locally, such as transportation, peer support programs, and information. For more information on the Canadian Cancer Society, log on to their website at cancer.ca. In Brockville, Dale Elliott, BNTV News.